My high school was like half a mile south of here, and me and my girlfriends used to come down here all the time. And on one of these, used to say Ilfu, which was my nickname up until like college, Christina and Emma. But we were not thinking long term, and we did it in red marker. But it's just a memory from here. This is kind of my sanctuary. I love coming to the park and just hanging out with friends and family. That's kind of my like perfect place. <laughs> Anyone who, who asked for words of wisdom, just not to get too wrapped up in work being who you are. Be grateful for it, but to be able to separate yourself from your job, you know. It makes uh, the highs and lows a lot easier to manage, I think. You can't feel like you've totally lost yourself if you're not on set performing. I liken my desire to take on acting as a career, like an arranged marriage, <laughs> or like realizing over time that you had fallen in love with your best friend of 10 years. I had this manager who was kind of just sending me out on commercial auditions, and I got this one summer day, this audition, and I was kind of bummed. I'd been going out forever on auditions and not really booking work, wondering like what to do differently, and it was for an HBO pilot. You know, and you start reading, you're like, oh, HBO, this is new, this is cool. I don't, I don't get these. And it was uh, a show directed by Spike Lee. And I'm like, oh my God, like I'm gonna, okay, so we're gonna do this one. And I went to the audition and, and I got the call back. Um, and they said Spike was gonna be in the room, which was like terrifying. But then I, I got the call one afternoon, like sitting at home with my mom and dad that I'd booked this. 10 years prior, I was living in London, like surviving on lentils and Stella. <laughs> like Tesco two dollar red wine. See, they come. They like know what's up. Hey! It used to be ducks though, and not pigeons. All right, I'm gonna save some from. Ooh! <laughs> More than anything, I use the things I wear and style and fashion to kind of like amplify how I'm feeling. I think it's a really good indication when you wake up in the morning and put your clothes on of like, this is where I'm at right now. Like even if you don't know, it's a good way to check in with like what you gravitate towards in your closets. And I've never in my adult life owned or like wanted to own a pair of loafers. But then I saw these and I was immediately taken back to this chunky pair of Mary Jane Skechers from like fourth or fifth grade that I was obsessed with and I had to have these loafers and I feel like they've opened up this entire new like playful side of myself um, which I think is an incredible thing that fashion can do so now I'm wearing things that make me feel like youthful and like not so serious and that's fun when do women stop wearing cutoff shorts when am I expected to like not love like sheer shirts anymore that remind me of like 1998 or whatever and I'm like never I like you don't have to do that stuff. And you, you find one item that makes you feel like, like you can embrace a side of yourself that you're not supposed to. And it's really like liberating and cool. So I think that's the power of fashion.